I feel like the, the approach, I mean, we should have a very entertaining game because they're both going to be aggressive, they're both going to want to approach and try and land their, their long combos onto each other. We already saw Z-Bay land an air, we saw what that led up to. Now Rain answering back, uh, similar damage output from both players. I'll say this for sure, once it comes to the neutral, once they're both at kill percent, uh, it's definitely going to be in C-Bay's port, uh, where the advantage is going to be, because it's going to have access to those smash, those bigger smash attacks, um, that will lead to kills, whereas Rain has to work for, for a little bit more. Okay, there's that down smash. The key to follow up, a great DI. Rain's gonna stay alive, but to get caught by the turtle. I'm not even sure that a, a forward air would have been enough. That disjointed hitbox seems really difficult for Rain to deal with. Oh, going for a half waft. I'm not sure what that was. Now, sitting center stage. Seabay allowing Rain to be the aggressor. Probably trying to. Uh, Get, get an air out of shield to attack on extra damage. But a great neutral B, hitting the command grab onto the C base shield. And there's the ejection button, feeling a little bit too pressured, just up B away. Now with a low recovery, but getting two frame, the F tilt from Rain catching. Trying to go for the jump in to see Rain really approaching with either trying to land onto Game of Watch with either a Nair or a down air. Like, taking these really high approaches. Uh, oh, back here. After working out. Sorry, I'm coming in a little bit late, but. This is actually really interesting to see Rain versus. Uh, Sibay? I'm saying I'm saying Sibay. Sibay? Yeah, I mean the matchup so far has like been a bit of a slugfest because they continue to they have similar approaches where they both want to land with Nair or forward air. Um, but I was saying that I think like once it comes to these higher percent that the Game Watch will actually have the advantage because he's going to have access to kills uh, a lot easier than Rain will. Yeah. Like, I think like, having access to those smash attacks, um, I mean, F-Tilt still comes out quick for Game Watch. And that's essentially what, on the ground anyways, what Rain's going to be looking for. Yeah, especially Juggles too as well. That's also one thing that Game Watch has over. Wow, okay, I guess we'll just, just stop, drop straight down. It's fine. We can do that. Yeah, well... Rain used up B, just didn't make it to the ledge. It pulled back to avoid the key, and fortunately, that was just too far. Yeah, looks like he, uh, no pun intended, he had the key to the city or the key to victory? Boo. I, I tried to say no pun intended, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> Next game here, uh, like I said, I came, I'm coming in late because I want to go pick up. I mean, yeah, point about as I expected, One, early game was was them comboing each other. We see like uh, Nair leading to 40% for both players, really. Right, right, right. And it's really just who wins neutral more often. You can see, I think right it's, now, a it's, it's it's really game to watch. Yeah, I think the one thing, like, both characters have really excellent generals. I feel like... Like, it's not to shame anybody maining the character, but I feel like Game & Watch's juggles are much more easier. It's pretty obvious. They are way more easier to pull off than partners. 
I think they're both pretty simple, but game, definitely Game & Watch is pretty simple. Okay. I mean, I'll say one thing that the game that Wario has that Game Wars doesn't, that's a kill confirm at early percents. I mean, outside of like Down Throw 9, which is really reliant on RNG, you know, we have the early kill percents with Roth, which yeah. we haven't really seen Rain do yet. Or at least complete. We saw it one time earlier in the night where he attempted to go for it and just misspaced it. Unfortunate for Rain. But even in game one, I mean, I think I saw a walk one time and it kind of looked like a misinput. Yeah, I think having something as a, uh, as a for sure early damage on um, a currently stock taker has lost is pretty big. But also, like, yeah. As opposed to like, a more RNG base, I think as a whole, like, it comes down to like who's winning the neutral ground. And so far, what we're seeing is now like C Bay. Oh, that was close for tonight. I think the one thing that maybe Game Watch has maybe more in terms of kill confirms is the fact that like you can down smash the whole time. <laughs> and, and that in itself is like one of the scariest kind of things we've seen. Yeah, and I mean, it's like covers such a huge area, and that's kind of what I was talking about. Like when it comes to these kill percents, that Game Watch is going to have that advantage, whereas Wario is going to have to work a little bit harder. Yeah, I think, speaking of the double right, like, definitely we're seeing that rain he is going to have to work. And Spade's been doing a pretty good job of covering the platform. Really uh, sharking rain and looking for where he's trying to land and then trying to pressure with an air or an up air to keep the juggle going. Yeah. Dash attack. I think I think for Rain he's trying to play this a little bit more cautious. Like I think he's going yeah he has WAP now. So he knows if he take take out C base stock here at 45%. Oh no, he got off the bike and then he jumped into back air. I was gonna say like if he can take out C base stock, it shouldn't be too hard. 45%. I think Game and Watch, Game and Watch is the third lightest character in the game. So like you can easily take the stock from Game and Watch at like pretty early percents and then work on Waft, but that looked like it was more of a pipe dream than reality at this point. Good stuff to see, Bay. It looks like we have a game of watch in winners finals, and potentially we'll see how things go for him, and maybe in grounds. Yeah, I think that only brings it the score to to two zero. So, Rain still has a, an opportunity. You know, how many times have we really seen like reverse three O's happen? They happen all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's very very true. Okay, this is different. He's go he's going uh he's he's putting on the crux. I don't know what the thought process is here, man. Maybe he's just uh calling yeah, the the quits. Croco, man. I don't know if he's uh saying forget it, you know what, if I'm gonna go down I'm gonna go down in style or saying, you know what, maybe he'll never see this heavy pick coming because I can live a little bit longer. I think it's living a little bit longer, and it's also having access to a character that's a little bit harder to juggle because that Nair has armor. Yeah, the belly, the ba the Nair has armor, the belly has armor, and also uh, K. Roll is actually the second heaviest character in the game, with Bowser being the first. So I think it's like it's Bowser first, K. Roll second, then DK thir uh, third. So, yeah. Oh. But also, like, that's the one thing, too, that, like, maybe Rain has to be really cautious and optimistic about, is, like, he doesn't have to worry about getting juggled, but he can get easily juggled. Wow, I'm sorry, that Nair just ate up whatever Nair came and watch thought he had, and then punished him for being off stage with down smash. Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting from, from Rain. It's like, okay, really, like, where you were struggling was landing. Like, you kept getting hit by Game & Watch, and it's understandable Game & Watch has these huge hitboxes, very... Very quick for for its size. 
and can be difficult to deal with. But now, you can switch to a character that's a lot bigger, but has uh, a lot more armor. <laughs> yeah, a lot more armor, big weights. Huge Wow, hit even that dash attack! The dash attack almost took out that paper thin game and watch. Yeah. Oh, that shit, that shit can kill like some ridiculous persons. It's pretty crazy. And it lasts two frames longer than you would actually expect it to be over with. So you have to be careful. Like, that's why I tell people I actually think this game has more, I think has more mid tiers, more high tiers than mid tiers. And there's probably only like one or two low tiers. And even then I'll argue like, they're not that bad. Yeah, I actually think they're working out for, for rain. Yeah, I actually think Kairi was a mid tier after he got buffed. Is that cap? I don't know. Perhaps. Let's tune in and find out as we see Rain up a stock against Sabe. Okay, and there's a little bit more juggle coming from Sabe. These up airs into up Bs. That can be quite difficult to deal with. You just have to really remember that while you may be getting hit a hundred times, uh, the damage is going to reflect getting hit a hundred times. That was the JMX special, man. I'm, I'm, you guys have probably never seen JMX play on stream, but I'm telling you right now, he's done that to me so many times. He'll just ground me, and he'll just do a smash attack, and he'll be like, it's over, and then it'll work. Well, reading the match incorrectly, Rain giving up his opportunity to, to take a game, now finding himself off stage, but the Nair, the armor belly, is going to allow him to make it back. Directional air dodge. Yeah, he oh, doesn't have to worry about back. it. Ooh. He just, yeah, I was gonna say he doesn't have to worry about it. It's too slow, and for Kiro, it's not gonna do much either way. I mean, Rain, he's working on something here. This could actually be it. Does he read the match? Yeah, he doesn't give him time. Yeah, just dash attack. Usually not the option we see from from the down throw, but hey, dealer's choice, and Rain puts one on the board. Yeah. And let's not forget that when you are grounded, um, at higher percents it's harder to get out, and then at lower percents it's easier to mash out. Um, I think pre-patch it used to be harder to get out all across the board, so when you were grounded it was like easier to get out. I think it's also the same for stun. And if you're stunned, oh, I think a stun is the opposite. Stun is it's easier to mash out at lower percents. I'm sorry, it's easier to mash out at. I'm confused. Never mind. Let's get right back into it. I'll come back to you guys when I remember. But yeah, being grounded is much harder to mash out a higher percent for sure. Very true. And of course, sticking with the croc, I mean, why would we have a character switch after having such a great performance in game three from Rain? But this time, eliminating platforms. Yeah, and you said it yourself too, like the counter pick uh, in terms of character choice actually worked really, really well for a lot of the reasons that you stated. So things like, you know, having weight, having armor. Uh, yes, you get juggled, but you have neutral air. You're the second heaviest character in the game. You have to do some pretty big damage. And Gamer Watch is paper thin, so. Yeah, I still can't get over that dash attack almost killed in that second stock. Like, and you... It was actually a trade, but Gamer Watch almost just got obliterated for it. I'm telling you right now, man, when you've played JMX, you learn to hate K. Roll and DK so much. <laughs> nice. I think that's the one thing I actually tell people, like, Game Watch that has, like, oh, that was good. That was tough, too. I kind of respect it. Like, you want a directional air dodge, right? You, you want to come back as safe as fast as possible, but at that point, it wouldn't have hurt to actually go for Uppy. Just because, like, you're already back close to the stage, you might as well commit to another game and then cancel that out as soon as possible. Yeah, I'm surprised that we don't see Rain go for more high recoveries, because when you think about it, like, what is the punish from C Bay whenever K Roll goes high? He's gonna throw out up airs, or he's gonna land with an air. Yeah. Both of which, if you get hit by an up air, okay, now you're reset and you have access to your armor again. Yep. That's what I'm saying, like, oh, that was good for an air, and then I'll take it. I mean, 110 to to rain, just like DK, K World Rage can be pretty scary to deal with, and if he, if he gets momentum within, I want to say, even 30 to 40%, people oh. watch him die, but Sebe, okay. Oh, it goes so deep! And you know what, Game Watch can do that. Like, Game Watch, he expended the double jump, 
went off stage, reach him with the turtle, and then yeah. use his momentum to make it back to stage. Like that's that's the type of plays you gotta make. Yeah, it, it's it's really tough. Like you have to be very very careful. And it's a base on opportunity. He knows I have to do it before K roll gets another chance. Yeah, honestly, like both stocks that were taken here in game two was Sabe going off stage, playing the aggressor, and forcing Rain to be uncomfortable and making a hard decision. Yeah. Forward air wasn't enough. It actually would have game one. This time he fastballed it. Close. You, you have to be careful when you're trying to punish up special because chances are they're going to come back with down air or hit you with an air. Oh. And down smash to forward smash is the tried and true game watch combo. Tried to hit C Bay with the mix up, like maybe I'm going right. Nope, I'm going left. And fortunately for Rain, C Bay just kind of waited. Yeah. Waited, he did. Okay, so H Box played off stream. So I guess we. So is he. Uh, is so, we him? Him? so we DQ him, right? I, 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 I mean, oh, he. I don't know, man. That's, that's so we the, DQ him. I say we DQ him. I don't have access to the executive orders here, man. I'm just just the dude on the mic running, helping run the tournament at times. So what do we do? What is what is the call, War Chief? Hit us with the info. It, see, I, hold on. I don't think his tag would be C Bay because it would need an extra E. It would be like C Bay. Yeah, I you don't know? know. He's got four extra 